Okay, Tom from Pack Hacker challenged me, and I guess this means beef, right? Okay, was that clickbaity enough? Tom from Pack Hacker was recently on another episode of my podcast. Shameless plug, check out my Patreon to watch and listen to that episode at least one month in advance before it will be available on the Ismono podcast. In that episode, Tom told me about their packing list tool and the first time we met, we actually talked about how I always have trouble doing one bag traveling. I have not been traveling since the start of the pandemic and I am a firm supporter of remote work. However, I probably will return to an office in the future. Therefore, I challenged myself to pack just one bag for a hypothetical two-night business trip. And this was the perfect opportunity to try Packhacker's packing tool as well. You can actually check out my list in the description below. Let's set the stage. I wanted to challenge myself to pack just one bag for a two-night business trip. The bag that I chose and I'm actually still reviewing is the Boundary Supply Errand Pro, a 30-liter capacity backpack. I will list everything that I pack and do not mention the clothing that I would be wearing while traveling. The clothing that I would be wearing would be considered one outfit. Furthermore, I used to always carry my MacBook Pro, but from experience I rarely use that computer because I always work on my clients' workstations. Not carrying my MacBook Pro will cut down weight immensely. Speaking of work, let's start with those items. I would pack my Samsung Tab S7 FE as my main computer to answer emails, surf the web and entertainment. It's not that powerful, but it is sufficient enough to keep me busy and more importantly very easy to pack and lightweight. Even though I would work on a client's workstation, I would always bring my own peripherals. I always work on a mechanical keyboard and this is the Timber 65% mechanical keyboard that I modeled with new switches and keycaps. You can watch my review about the Timber mechanical keyboard up here. Next is my Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. I use this since version 1 and I can highly recommend it. Although it works with Bluetooth, I get connection issues from time to time, especially on other computers when I connect it via Bluetooth. So I carry a simple USB dongle, to which I connect the Logitech receiver and then I just plug that dongle into the workstation. Next is my extended EDC inside the Air Split Kit. My extended EDC has my phone charger, battery bank, cables and small tidbits that I need from time to time. A video you can find up here. In that video I used the Air Slim Pouch, but that one was bigger than I actually needed, so I moved everything over to this smaller pouch. I don't need this next item for work, but I like to have a camera with me to shoot some stills or some b-roll of whatever items that I might test during that trip. This is my Micro Four Thirds camera, the Panasonic GX85 with a 17mm lens. Now let's move over to clothing. As mentioned in the introduction, I consider the clothing that I wear as one outfit. For work, I like to change outfits on a daily basis. So what I do is to pack just one extra outfit and on this three-day trip, I would just alternate between the outfit that I traveled with and this extra outfit and then again the outfit that I traveled with. So first is another pair of pants. Although I usually just wear one pair of pants multiple days, I think in a professional situation, switching appearances yeah, just looks better in my humble opinion. Then I would pack three pairs of merino boxers. I always bring one extra just in case. These are from 1000 Miles and Icebreaker. Same goes with socks. I pack three pairs of colorful socks. These are from Happy Socks. Next one is an extra merino t-shirt. I love merino. You can wear them for multiple days and they won't start to smell. They dry fast and are climate regu regu regulating. So in theory, I could just use the one that I wear. But for redundancy or just in case, I like to bring another one. And this one is from Sea Gale. About switching outfits. On the day of travel, I would wear a sweater. And on the next workday, I'd like to wear a casual bottom-up from Erie Daily, for instance. 
Depending on the weather, a shirt and just a bottom-up can be a little bit chilly. That is why I like to pack a long sleeve merino shirt from Icebreaker as well to just layer up. At night, I like to sleep with open windows and I want to wear fresh clothing in bed. So I bring pajama pants and a long sleeve to sleep in. Continuing with my dop kit. When traveling with multiple bags, I like to use the Peak Design Dop Kit, but that one is way too big. So I pack everything into this side-by-side -side ultralight dry bag to save space, but also to prevent liquids from leaking onto my clothing or work items. In here, I will just drop in these bottles from Gravel with shower gel and shampoo, toothpaste, dental floss, a Muchi dispenser with face lotion, small travel size body lotion, Wolkenseife deodorant and my contact lens liquids. Furthermore, I pack my Philips Sonicare electric toothbrush. Now, I need to get everything into the bag. I start packing the clothing into some packing cubes and the ones that I'm testing for this scenario are the ones from Wakes. These are great because you can first expand the volume, load everything inside, close the cube and then compress everything with the middle zipper. While these are very lightweight and don't add any significant bulk like other cubes, the zippers feel a tad too flimsy and the lightweight but thin fabric gets stuck in the zipper sometimes. In the admin back panel of the Aaron Pro, I store the mouse, extended EDC and the tablet. Inside the main compartment of the Aaron Pro, I put the two packing cubes, the side-by-side -side dry bag, my camera and the electric toothbrush. Once the bag is closed, I also put this pink beanie in the front magazine pocket, although I probably wear the beanie whilst traveling, like now for instance. And the top quick access pocket is great if you want to temporarily store your phone or your wallet. The Boundary Supply Aaron Pro is an amazing bag that is very well made, but the durability and the choices of high quality fabrics come with a higher weight than I personally am used to. That being said, although the bag is already heavy or at least a little bit heavier when empty, with all of the items inside, the bag does feel very comfortable to carry around. So this is what I would pack on a hypothetical two-night business trip. And I really hope I can put this to the test in the future. If you want to check out the whole packing list, go to PackHacker. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Ismono podcast so you won't miss the episode with Tom from PackHacker. So what's your one-bag travel backpack of choice? Let me know in the comment section below. And like always, if you know, Richard, it is very peculiar. People nowadays watch the television and they are not subscribed. <gasps> yeah, I know, right? It's really odd. So they are not subscribed. They don't push the bell icon. They don't push the like button. They don't comment below. So we all should build a better future in which we are subscribed. We push the bell icon. We push the like button. And even if you push the dislike button, we should push it twice just to be safe. So let's build a better future, Richard. Let's all subscribe. Also, check out my podcast, Instagram, and second channel at YouNotable. Stay safe and healthy, everyone, and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.